Hey everybody, Rick's here. What I'm wearing is a t-shirt with an image that I drew with color pencils. That's right, color pencils on fabric. And in case you're wondering, it has already gone through the wash and dry cycle. And the image is still there and it can go through dozens of more washes and the image will still be here. You wanna learn how I did this? Well, stick around in this video and I'm gonna show you. Okay, the first thing I need to do is grab a sheet of quick transfer paper from a link down in the uh, description area of this video. Okay, what I wanna do here is I wanna prepare this paper to be able to hold on to the powder that I'm going to uh, sprinkle on it. So to do that, I need something that's not permanent, just something that is tacky. And when I say tacky, we have something called easy tack. With the paper now, with the tacky on there, you can see it sticks to my fingers. Okay, you're ready to go ahead and put it inside of a box, some container that will contain the powder that we're going to use. And I'm going to sprinkle on this uh, Ghidorah transfer powder, DTF and DTC printing, it shows here. Okay, again, there'll be a link down in the description area. But just be liberal with it. What we don't use, we'll just put back into the container. And you want to make sure that you completely coat the paper in this powder. Just completely coat it. Okay. Next thing you want to do is just carefully remove the paper from the edge, like so. And you want to shake off any excess now the paper has the powder on it sticking with the easy tack we're going to go ahead and melt that onto the paper itself by using the heat press What I would also recommend doing at this point is spraying something like a Krylon Acrylic Clear or a matte finish spray, something like that over the paper now that you have sealed it with the DTF uh, coating to give the paper more tooth. So when you're drawing with pencils, uh, it, it will, the pencil will be able to draw a lot easier than if you were to try to draw on top of this DTF coating, which isn't really good for drawing on top of directly. I had this videoed, but apparently lost that clip, so I apologize, but that would be my recommendation at this point. Okay, now that I have the paper treated, what I want to do is start drawing on here. I printed out this head of Iron Man now if you'll notice that there are just all kinds of streaks and lines and stuff and it's a horrible printout but I don't really care so much about that but more what I'm interested in is just the actual uh, main lines and so forth so here's what I'm going to do because I could draw this by just looking at it and tracing it I'm going to do something else I'm going to Put this on here like this and I'm going to trace the image on the back of the paper here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a light tablet like this one right here. You get it for like 20 bucks at Amazon. And I'm going to use this to put on the highest one. I'm going to use this to trace. Thank you. 
to color this in and I'm going to show you this set that I have it's from four candies as you see here I hope you can see that it's a really cool color pencil set let me get some more light in here so you can see this this color pencil set is very unique in that uh, these are not pencils that is uh, made of wood it they're all kind of a plastic and if you take a look, okay, really close up, see if we get that in the camera, you just eject the lead by pressing on the, the rear of the pencil, and it's really cool. You don't have to sharpen this. Now, if you run out of the color, it comes with refills, see? So, make sure I can see that in the light. There, there we go. So you get all these refills. It's a whole bunch of colors in there. And if you want to put a point on any of these, if you need to sharpen, okay, you have this sharpener that it comes with. It's long clear tube. You open the, the top of the tube. It has a hole right here. You just stick this in and you turn it. It catches the shavings in here and you'll end up with a point. So, those who want the point can have the point. And, and you can just refill this many times uh, as long as you have a replacement lead. So let's get on with the next step. Now, here's how I'm going to put my pencils away. I'm going to press it in, press the lead in, okay, and put them away. It's quick and easy to put your color pencils away with this kit. It comes with an eraser too, by the way, in case you're wondering. But that's it right there. That's the four candies kit link to where you can pick this up if you like. Um, I highly recommend them. I like these. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out excess. I don't want excess white. I'm going to leave a little bit on the edge. Spray a light coat of Easy Tack over this. Stick it in there. Get your DTF powder like before. Just kind of make sure you cover everything and make sure that everything gets covered. All right, so you want complete coverage with that powder. I was going to use a white t-shirt, but here's a tan one and I'm just going to put it on the tan one. The heat press is now heated to 340 degrees. 
our drawing here with the powder on it. And you'll notice I have a card here. I marked four inches down from the collar. That way I can align this right center there, four inches down. Get that card out of there. And let's move that up now. Put some parchment paper over it. And we're going to go for at least 20 seconds at 340 degrees. All right, so that's about 20 seconds. I'll give five more seconds here real quick. And that should do it. All right, now this is my favorite part, always is. And that is, once it cools down, we're going to start peeling this thing off. Get yourself a, some water, a brush, and you want to apply water and let it soak into the paper so we can release it from the image itself that's printed on top of it. Okay, make sure it soaks in. Takes a little more effort on fabric than it does from wood and stuff. Alright, I'm going to take a paper towel here. I'm just going to kind of take up the excess like that. And now I need to start it from some edge, some corner. I'm going to get underneath the shirt here so I can get my fingers underneath to get it started. Alright, I can start peeling this off. Okay, obviously I'm going to have to do this in a few peels. Alright. That uh, DTF powder really likes to hold on to this, but it won't wind. As you can see, it peels right off once you can get it started. get under that paper's really soaked it's just going to keep breaking off into little pieces so and it doesn't hurt it to run your nail across it or a credit card or something because you have that clear protection that we started off with before we started drawing on this so that's protecting the image, and that's what's going to protect it from the wash, too. Okay, so you just learned how to take your color pencil drawings and put them on fabric. You have any kind of comments, please leave them down below. Click the subscribe button. Could you smash the like button to really help out this channel? It really helps in putting out more content for you guys. Thank you again. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.